Hello everyone, welcome to this lead code video on number 1114, print in order. So this is actually one of the concurrency problems on lead code and I've decided to uh, do some of these in the upcoming videos. So in this problem, uh, we have three threads that the test runner or the code that lead code is going to use to test your code. Uh, it's going to create three threads. Uh, one thread will, and all the three will run in parallel. Uh, one of them will call first, another one will call second, another one will call third. And they pass in a runnable which actually prints the stuff. So in the first, second and third method they just print, they just invoke the runnable which prints whatever the runnable has in it. So what we are to do is to guarantee that no matter what order those three threads executed, get executed, the first runs before the second which runs before the third. Now we could have some booleans, for example, let's say, okay, when the first is done, set a boolean to true, make the second one wait for that boolean, um, and then make the third one wait for the bool another boolean which we set on the second one. However, that's a little bit inefficient because we'll spend all this time uh, looping through a boolean, uh, waiting for it to be true. So. Java has uh, some build a concurrency framework that we can leverage so we can keep these concerns out from our code and have the framework handle it. So one such concept is the countdown latch, right? So the idea is we create two countdown latches. Um, a countdown latch is, and then a countdown latch is basically something that allows you to set a number, you then count it down, and then when it, when uh, it hits zero, any thread that's waiting on that latch will then be able to proceed, right? So the idea is to create two countdown latches with the count set to one. Um, the second thread, the first thread will count down the first latch and the second thread will wait for that latch. So if, if it gets executed in parallel, this thread won't proceed until this one is done. And similarly, when we're done printing the second one, we'll count down a second latch which then the third one will wait for uh, and and that's how we can guarantee that the third one runs exactly after the second one so let's get into it so first let's create our two countdown latches so this first one is the latch after first and the second one will be the latch after second and here we can say latch after first is equal to new countdown latch and we sent we set the countdown uh, the max value or the value where we're gonna start counting down from to one because uh, we just need one countdown on it and we also create the latch after the second countdown so after printing the first one we count down the first latch so basically this will this will only count down or set to zero after we've printed the first one and then before printing the second one we wait for the first latch so this will keep waiting until this latch is set to zero and it will only be set to zero after we've printed the first one so this will guarantee that this is only run after this and then uh, here, after we're done printing the second one, we count down the second latch. And after, and before printing the third one, we wait for the second latch. So this will guarantee that this line of code is only run after this is count down. So then no matter which thread starts executing first, we guarantee that the this will get printed before this, which gets printed before the, before this. So let's run it and see how it works. Okay, it seems like it got accepted. Let's submit. Cool, it works. So thank you so much for watching and uh, stay tuned for other concurrency videos.